Yep. Tennis in the face. Ten tons. This is the backstory on Pete Pagasi. I guess he's a combination of Pete Sampras and... Yeah. You get it. I don't know. So he was hooked on explodes, kind of energy drink kind of thing. And uh, it wasn't really explodes fault, but it was his lack of self-control with explodes that, that caused uh, his downfall. Andre Agassi, there we go. So Andre Agassi, Pete Sampras, I don't know, the guy's a red headband on it. Yeah, and a cleft chin. And what could be a mullet, but I'm not really sure. But that's not really the point. Uh, Ten Tons, the same company that brought you... Uh, I'm not drawing a blank now. Crimson. I've reviewed other Ten Tons games. Uh, King Oddball. That was one of theirs. So for whatever reason, the sound is off, which I didn't realize before, but it's too late to do anything about that now. This is quite awkward. But yeah, this was a mobile game. Uh, uh, I think it's on everything almost. I think the sound is better now. Let's see. That's embarrassing. Ah, yeah, we're good. So this was a mobile game, and 10 Tons is good about uh, porting things over, not just giving love to iOS and Android, but also giving some love to Windows Phone. This game is either free or like no more than $2 on a device that you have a PS4 or a Vita, probably have a tablet or even some basic smart device. Like, like, I have a Windows phone. So if you have a Windows phone, you could play this game. And I say that because this game is not bad. It's a fun game. It's just... It's another one of these mobile games that's been ported over to... The Vita, I guess I can see because it's handheld. But it's been ported for the PS4. And it's fun. It's it's sort of has an Angry Birds kind of you want to aim and it's sort of a chain reaction going in order to knock all the enemies out. So there is an, there's enjoyment there. There's fun there. It's just I don't know because you can play. I think it's five dollars, which isn't astronomical, but because you can play this game on many other platforms for significantly less money, almost anywhere. They're, you know, they're on, it's, it's available for phones. It just kind of... I mean, more games, I guess, is a good thing. Just off, this off the blank. Hey, more games. More things available to play. Great. But at a certain point, it's like... The game is fun. I did enjoy playing it. Did I play it to completion? No. I played it enough to get a good feel for what the gameplay is. Some of the differentiate, you know, as you saw, first we were fighting clowns. Well, there were clowns as enemies. Now there's, uh, yeah, police officers. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, but yeah. So it it it's a game. It is fun. There is certainly fun to be had with it. I guess if it was like 99 cents on PS4 and I think it's cross by, I'd say, hey, go for it. At $5, unless, I would say, this game is fun and perhaps maybe worth your $5 because you have no other device on which to play this game. Like, if you could not play this game on a phone or a tablet, I'd say, hey, and you really, and you think this looks like fun, because it is fun. It's it's a mobile game, so it has that, hey, keep coming back kind of, you know, it's it's there. And, and, and also, to be fair, it's easier to move the cursor or the aiming around with your finger, just touching something. Now, I'll be, I'll be honest, I have not played the Vita version. I'm hoping that I'm speaking correctly and that there is a Vita version. I think this is cross-by, <laughs> cross but I've been wrong before. Uh, so I can't say what, you know, uh, definitively whether or not the Vita version does have touchscreen 
um, capability. But I mean, judging the game on its own merits, it is fun. It's goofy. I like the sense of humor. I like that each level brings a new enemy type. Uh, as you saw, you went from just having the cans. Now there's balloons. There's glass. Uh, this the cans that unleash multiple balls, uh, tennis balls and stuff. So they they're adding things up, and it's it's pretty cool, and it is fun, it's wacky. It's just you have to be honest and say, well, you could play this almost anywhere. Is it worth five bucks? That's up to you.